Hello friends and welcome to a cosy vlog filled with lots of art. Today I'll be taking you through my week of art making while showing you parts from my daily life. This is something I'm trying out as I really miss making my studio vlogs so this is a fun way for me to incorporate all my art hobbies into that. So if this is your first time joining us on the channel then welcome in, my name is Lizzie and I create a lot of journaling and pen pal content whilst incorporating nature and other calming things into those crafts where possible. I really like going into the forest and my goal is to bring more people into the pen pal community because personally I think it's one of the nicest communities to be a part of. And if you enjoy please subscribe let me know what you think in today's video i'll be doing things like journaling as i've been really into using my journal more frequently um, i go for a walk in the forest pack patreon rewards and of course there's lots of cat content as well so i'll let you enjoy the rest of the video and you'll only hear from me for a cheeky journal voiceover so enjoy Hello, hello, voiceover Lizzie is back for a little bit of journaling content. So as you saw, I went for a walk with my mum in the forest and it was a very, very windy day. It didn't rain luckily, but the wind has been a little bit crazy and overwhelming here in the UK. So yeah, I got wrapped up warm in my new scarf that I got for Christmas and we just went for a little wander and an explore. The forest is only like five minutes away from where I live, so I tend to go there a lot, but it is quite big, so there's always new paths to find and explore. This was the kind of the first time that me and my mum had done anything together in a while, so I really wanted to journal about it, and I've just been trying to encourage myself to just generally journal more, because it really is a mindful activity for me. And because work is a bit crazy at the moment, I feel like I really need that in my life. So it has been really nice to push myself to just create something, even if I don't always feel like it. I feel like when I actually start making it and I'm in that process, it really does the job at chilling me out. And I use my insects printer to print out this photo that I took from the walk and yeah I just had a go at using some paper that somebody had sent me because that's kind of the beauty of pen paling is you get a whole selection of stationary goodies lots of random things so it was fun to kind of use them in this spread and I find that my journal is a really good way to use up all of those scraps as well so on our walk we saw lots of ancient oak trees and we also ended up getting a coffee as well well i actually ended up getting a hot chocolate and also i need to say excuse my face in this video because <laughs> i've got like spot patches on my face for like half the clips um but you know that's just life so <laughs> i wanted to keep it realistic and i got this new stamp from i think aliexpress and I've just been using them to layer in the background and then I had this stamp as in postage stamp from somebody because sometimes when I get pen pal letters or PO box mail if there's a stamp on the front of the envelope that I really like then I will take that off and put it 
somewhere in my journal because I find that it's a really good way to kind of keep things from other people as a memory keeping way in my journal and that way I feel like everybody who sent me mail is kind of included in my spreads some way or another. I can't remember where this specific stamp is from but I just wanted to add it on there. And then because we ended up getting hot chocolate, I wanted to add just some coffee themed stamps onto the spread. And then I also used my new Ferris Wheel Press carousel fountain pen, which I adore. And I had this really nice green ink inside of it. So I was just writing and I find it really easy to write with this pen, even though I've realized that I actually don't hold a pen correctly. Um, which has taken me a very long time to come to that realization, especially as I teach small children how to write. Because um, if you don't already know, I'm a primary school teacher, so I feel like I should have noticed that about myself because obviously I have to notice that about other people, but I just didn't see that. So I can't really change that now. And I tried to hold the pen properly, but it just felt really weird. So I'm just sticking with it. You know, it doesn't really matter how you hold a pen in the grand scheme of things. So this is the end of the spread and I will let you get back to the video. back to journaling again and this was actually kind of a cozy late night journaling session it wasn't intended to be but because I had to edit a YouTube video and then I ended up making tea and stuff so it just ended up being really late and because of the time of the year the Sun is setting a lot earlier now even though this week I think it's been the first few days I've been going to work and the Sun has been rising which has honestly been amazing like I cannot say how much that has changed my mood. So it was quite dark at this time, but I really wanted to create a spread about La La Land because I've been having a lot of fun creating reading spreads 
and then I made one about a movie of where the crawdads sing which you might have seen at the start and I just had a lot of fun making it and I totally forgot that I had bought these La La Land like ephemera pack type thing and there's some stickers in there and some old negative style stickers and I was like oh I could make that spread now for this one I didn't want to add any text I just wanted to kind of use as much of the stickers as I could because I have quite a lot of them and I just used them to layer and I found it quite hard to kind of figure out where to put everything to start with because obviously the main pieces are quite large so I don't know it was just kind of hard for me to organize it on the page but it is one of my favorite films I have three favorite films and this one is definitely up there even though I absolutely cry my eyes out like every single time I watch it at the end it just fully destroys me every time and I cried like a baby in the cinema when I went to see it too I know a lot of people aren't too keen on like new modern musicals and I wouldn't say that I'm a huge musical fan but with a lot of the new ones I have been really enjoying it like I love La La Land and like I loved the Barbie movie and I also just watched Wonka which I personally really enjoyed I know a lot of people haven't enjoyed it but it was one that I did really enjoy so if you have watched La La Land then please let me know in the comments what you think of it because a lot of people really don't like the film and I don't really know why I am obviously on the other end of that spectrum and absolutely love it so I was kind of listening to the soundtrack whilst I was making it and that was really fun it kind of got me in the mood to make the spread but I didn't go to out there and then I just wanted to document the date which I've been doing in pretty much most of my spreads at the moment with my new date stamp and it makes me feel really nostalgic as well because I used to be a librarian so I used to actually use those stamps all the time for work so it's really fun to like have one of my own <laughs> and use it for my own things and then I just added some extra bits to finish the spread from my sticker journal and this is the last time you will hear from me as voiceover Lizzie so I really hope you enjoy the rest of the video and you'll get to see me making all of my Patreon goodies so enjoy! Thank you.